The one thing I know about baseball is it beats you up every single day. And whoever manages failure the best reaches their ceiling. To create a winning culture, Royals general manager Dayton Moore says he focuses on putting everyone else's needs first. We've wanted to create a great place where people want to work and be a part of, and not just a great place, the greatest place in the history of sports. To do that, Moore tells his team to take care of family first so they're not distracted at work. His message to spring training the first day is always the same, and it's make sure your, your families are okay. We demand that you don't miss birthdays, don't miss anniversaries, don't miss special occasions. By putting family first, the Royals say Moore has created a family atmosphere. You've seen uh, stuff he's done for guys off the field, and you realize that he cares about each and every single guy. Guys. You see him like a, more like a family, you know, like he, he's everybody's dying here, you know. A father figure, but not a friend. Moore sees some authority figures and parents make the mistake of trying to be friends. No, you're, you, you, are, uh, you are a leader and you are to uh, not cross that line and your job is to uh, help mold and shape lives. While demanding respect and accountability, he also understands the struggle of consistency and admits mistakes. Well, I think it's important to be vulnerable. I mean, you, you have to be very transparent. If there's anything good in me, it comes from God. Faith has helped Moore and his family through the ups and downs of baseball. They enjoy the game. Uh, you know, my wife, Marianne, uh, has always been a great encourager. The Wichita native grew up playing baseball and cheering for the Royals. My mother had a passion for the game. Uh, my grandmother had a passion for the game. My father was very supportive of, of, uh, of us. Uh, to uh, pursue things that we enjoyed doing. Before Kauffman Stadium expanded the outfield stands, Dayton and a friend watched the Royals win the 1985 World Series from right behind this fence with other fans right along I-70. That whole fence line was full. They were cooking out and they had a little portable, you know, battery operated TV that was kind of in and out, a little static, but uh, it was fun. If he has fun now, the 49 year old doesn't seem to show it. Even when the team he built won the World Series last fall, he barely celebrated. That's pretty much all you'll see out of him, you know. You'll, you'll see a little fist pump or a, you know, a little head nod. But the next day, he like nothing happened. The same guy, I still, you know, serious. Serious about his goal to make the Royals the greatest team in the history of sports. We've got to fight for that culture uh, and defend it every single day. It's just not naturally going to occur. Focused on more than just defending the World Series title. Patrick Fazio, 41 Action News.